Hello everyone and welcome to the bench review of the WL Toys Q323 aircraft. This is a larger size aircraft, it's a brushed quadcopter, it's not brushless and it has a very long flight time for uh, this kind of uh, model. It goes up to 50 minutes. It also has some uh, other interesting features. Uh, first you need to know that uh, this uh, comes in an uh, array of uh, variations as you can see here so there is a, a Wi-Fi version which streams uh, video from the camera to a smartphone there's the simple camera version which I have in the box don't uh, mind this uh, sticker here I have the C version and there is also an E version which comes with a HD camera and uh, streams to a phone uh, the first version that streams to a phone only has a very low resolution camera which is only VGA uh, also you get uh, some specification here it has a large two cell battery uh, you get the wheelbase if you can call it that way it has uh, 210 uh, millimeters and it uses uh, three bladed props and you have the diameter here <coughs> Further on, uh, what's also interesting about this model is that it has a replaceable camera, so you can uh, buy any kind of variation, you just swap the camera out and you're ready to go. Also the camera angle, it's adjustable from the remote, you can tilt it up or down as you wish. So enough with the talk about the box, let's see what you get actually inside and how it looks. It comes pretty nice pack. You get an instruction manual, which is in uh, Chinese and English. It's a combination. And by the look of the English description, it's a bit horrible. If not too horrible, it's a combination of English with Chinese expressions. But uh, even a beginner will. Uh, uh, find how to use it pretty simple as it has also a lot of pictures and it's not very complicated this also has altitude hold so it's very easy to control as you can see in the box beside the quadcopter you get a full set of uh, spare propellers three baited props which have their unique design so they are not standard propellers you get the uh, almost uh, standard transmitter that you find on uh, WL Toys uh, Q-Series uh, quadcopters. It's a good, uh, it's a good uh, transmitter. You get about 100, maybe 200 meters with its stock, with no modifications. So for a toy grade quadcopter, it's okay. I'm uh, going to test the uh, the range of uh, this quadcopter as its uh, flight performance as you are going to see it's uh, pretty good so a good range transmitter will uh, do it very good underneath the transmitter you get a balance charger for two cell batteries it uses a power adapter you plug this in and the battery will go here charge simple and efficient of course you also get a full set of propeller guards and they are quickly snap on no screws needed to install you're just going to connect them also get a card reader and an sd card it's a four gigabyte card and this is a phillips screwdriver now let's take the quad out it's relatively heavy we are going to weight it and the battery sits underneath in this tray and if you look at its design you can see that it's not very similar but it's almost a copy or a clone of this quadcopter which is the XK Whirlwind or XKX251 as you can see they look identical they have the same design the same battery placement with the cargo bay underneath the same design of the landing gear and their um, body it's the same size and you can see that by placing it into the box just look at that it's the same dimension exactly uh, 
this only has longer arms and I would say bigger motors but this is brushless this is brushed so that's not the comparison between the two of them and also this battery uses exactly the same uh, type of connector like this one it doesn't have a separate discharge plug but it's a simple balance plug what makes this uh, battery special is that the uh, wires are a bit more thick than on uh, standard uh, battery wires as they supply power to the quadcopter so you may try to use it with another battery but you may have problems with uh, melting the balance wires from that battery right so let's move on to the camera there's the camera module of course it's facing downward hopefully we can adjust it at least upward and if you want to upgrade or change the camera you just push this little clip here and it goes out and this is the camera module very light you can see here it has place for an antenna for the other type of versions and this leaves a lot of space inside and probably you can stick there a Mobius mini or something like that so you can always put a better camera if you want to uh, I'm going to install this pack and uh, test its uh, angle to see how much down or up can it go from uh, the stock uh, position. To install the prop cards, as I've told you, you just attach them like that, very easy, they are just clip on, easy to remove, which makes it easy to transport and when you are a beginner you can attach them easily and after you gain some experience you can take them off they are pretty resistant and will protect maybe the blade from a, a branch or something like that but uh, they will also act like uh, sails so when it's windy it will uh, pull your quadcopter more easily and they also will uh, take more power from the motors which will decrease flight time Alright, so let's connect the battery now and see if it has any kind of lights and the camera how it tilts up and down. So the battery just slides in like that and you plug in the connector and you get a lot of pretty colored lights. And I'm going to power on the transmitter. And to beam the transmitter you go throttle up, throttle down the light will remain steady which means that it's now binded to the transmitter uh, from the transmitter menu you can select uh, the speed rates you have 40% 60% 80% and 100% and a dedicated switch which uh, turns off or on the LEDs as you can see you can control the lights which is also neat and this is uh, one key uh, take off one key landing it's not signaled on the monitor but this is its uh, function uh, these are normal trimming buttons uh, throttle is uh, centered because this has altitude hold and the only thing that is not a trim button it's the up and down trim button which will control the camera up and down the camera tilt and I'm going to show it so this is the normal tilt and you can make it tilt down and also tilt up but you can see the tilt up is not very high and it's still pointing downward so this is a kind of uh, selfie drone which is uh, very useful these days for some kind of people so you just want this a bit upper than you and to hold it steady and it will take a video or photo of you when you are down because that's all you can do with a camera pointing down because when you fly uh, the faster you fly the more tilt the quad will have and if the camera is tilted already downward when you are flying you are going to film just the ground beneath the quad but you aren't going to film anything in front of the quad like a landscape that will be impossible with the camera tilting down so that's not very good a good idea it was to have a camera tilting a bit upward which is a logical thing to do but it seems that the Chinese people don't understand this they just want 
camera drones which will follow the user you will hold it in uh, your uh, face at uh, three meters in the air and it will take a selfie of you beside uh, this aspect of the camera that is uh, pointing downwards i must say that i'm uh, really impressed about uh, this uh, quad and its uh, build quality because it's very well built it's very tough and uh, they did uh, uh, some uh, things that you wouldn't expect on a toy quad these arms are really carbon fiber and I can show you why this is a multimeter that measures resistance and you know carbon fiber is highly conductive so this is not painted plastic or something like that you can see it has almost zero resistance which means that it's conductive and it's definitely carbon fiber as you can see all arms are carbon fiber of course they are not connected between them but each arm it's made of uh, that material so it's uh, pretty amazing to find uh, carbon fiber in a toy grade quad so they did some thinking and uh, wanted to improve the quality as much as possible you can see even the landing gear is well studied because the legs will not flex like on the XK quad you know this is notorious for flexing legs uh, these legs are much tougher and they have a brace between the two of them so they are not permitted to flex that much which is yet again a great idea and uh, with uh, this uh, large size battery you also get a good flight time only that it's brushed but uh, brushed quads uh, are uh, getting better and better they are, there are uh, motors uh, um, that can go for at least one year of uh, heavy usage so that is not a problem and they also are very cheap you just swap the motor and fly again so not a problem there I'm now going to install the SD card into the camera so I'm going to unplug the battery and take the camera out and let's see where it has a slot for the micro SD card there it is and I'm going to insert the provided 4 gigabytes one into this slot let's see if it goes that way or opposite it goes the other way and you need very long nails to insert it in there I'm going to try to use the provided screwdriver for that so yes it did the click thing and it's now held in place and the camera can now go back uh, to control the camera you can use this button here quick press it will start record video another quick press it will stop uh, recording video keeping it pressed for uh, uh, longer period of time it will take a picture and let's see that in action let's see if the quad signals that in uh, any kind of way so I'm going to plug it back on turn on the transmitter I'm gonna bend it it's now bend it so quick press of button we get the sound but there is no light signal that it's doing something or not and press again no signal and if I keep it pressed we get to beeps but once again no kind of signal that is either recording or taking pictures so you won't know if uh, you did start or not the recording and also it's important that uh, these kind of cameras to stop the recording after landing because if you pull the battery out it will corrupt the video file as the camera did not finish writing the information on the micro SD card so this was the quick bench overview of uh, this uh, quadcopter uh, flight test it will be coming soon bye bye